Hello everybody! How's everybody today? My name is Jason Boychuk. And I'm Kaya Thiessen. And we live in beautiful... British Columbia. Chilliwack. <laughs> I've been a cook for about 15 years now. And it's always been one of my passions. You know, growing up in a Ukrainian home with a whole bunch of babas running around, it uh, kind of sparks your curiosity as a kid to uh, see what they're making in the kitchen and having to taste samplers and everything and it just ever since from a young age it just really sparked a passion in me and it's just something I really wanted to do and I just I wanted to create dishes that made other people smile and wanting to come back and wanting more. So for me I actually am on the other end of the spectrum I guess you could say I drive truck. So I've been doing that for about 10 years. Uh, you could say I got into it because my dad's a truck driver and I love the job, but there are some things that I really don't like about it. Being away from home um, for, well, I guess technically I'm not gone like long haul or anything, which I'm very grateful for. But I can have days where I'm working like 14 hours a day and like multiple, multiple times during the week. So I'm basically living for the weekend and that's not how I want to live my life. I don't want to spend the majority of my time at work and, you know, live for those two days where it's like, I'm tired and I don't want to do anything. See, and I'm, I'm the complete opposite. I don't live for the weekend. I live for Monday, Tuesday. See, I, as a cook, I don't get it. I don't get weekends off. I don't get any holidays off. Booking time off unless I'm dead. It is literally impossible because there's just no one else to work for you and that's just that's just not right and it just it really got me thinking about my end goals in life and where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be and I started to question and really really think was 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 this the job or was this the career that was going to get me there and in the end it just, it came to no it it wasn't it's it it's not what drives me every day to get up and take on my day anymore. It's more exhausting and stressful than anything. And I'm mentally breaking down. It's literally breaking me down. So uh, I actually found this, uh, you could say, opportunity to start my own business. And she is part of that because uh, we're together, which is actually really awesome. Because it's, it's good to have support, you know, at home, right? Especially when starting something new that you know, have know nothing about and I mean coming into it I had no idea I didn't know I guess I don't know how to run my own business right like I've got no experience in that ass in that area so you know you feel like but of course with every, every business that you start there's going to be fear there's going to be doubts you're always going to be thinking well I can't do that or you know like I, I, I don't know nothing about computers you know I'm not smart enough I, I yeah, it, it comes down to, you know, you keep telling yourself, well, maybe I should just stick with what I'm comfortable with. And you get to the point where you just, you can't do that anymore. You re won't really know until you try, until you take that action. You know, and since I've took action and really did my research into this, it has changed my life immensely. I have met people from around the world that I feel that I've known my whole life that are more of a friend to me than some of my friends that I've had now. It's just such, it, it's such a great community to be part of. So one of the biggest things that I've been able to take away, which I think is worth more than anything that I've, say, put into my business, is my growth as a person. So since taking action on starting our own business, the biggest thing for me has been personal development. So now, instead of filling my head with crap, you know, watching the news or just watching YouTube videos, you know, about little cute kittens, I know they're cute, and, you know, watching TV all the time, I mean, I've gotten into meditating, which is something that I never thought I would get into. I read books. I listen to audiobooks. There's different things like personal affirmations to help change your belief system. You know, I've struggled with a lot of different things in my life and knowing that there are tools out there that 
I can use to help me become a better person is, I mean, it's really awesome. It's amazing that, that I even came across all this because, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't have ever done it on my own. But anyways, it's been almost a year now since I've started my personal development, since I've started my reading, my meditating, and all these fun stuff that I, I never used to do before, you know, and how my life now has changed. I, I can't even describe. I'm, I'm more happier as a person. I'm more clear in my head on what I want, what I think about, how I feel about different situations. And I've just basically learned that... <sighs> it's a continuing thing. You continue to grow and you continue to learn. You continue to change within yourself, you know, to become that better version. Ultimately, it starts with you. You need to make that choice. You need to make that decision. You need to step up to yourself and say, enough's enough. This is not who I'm meant to be. This is not how I want to live. Things need to change now. So we would like to thank Balaj for all his mentorship and leadership because, I mean, we wouldn't be here if he wasn't, if he didn't start it all. He inspires me to or he, sh he has shown me that there's there's more to life than than what I've been doing and there's just there's there's a wide world of opportunity out there and so many people that feel the same way but are really too scared to take that chance you know don't don't be one of those people that goes through life always being scared always staying in your comfort zone only doing what you've known and everything's going to be fine but in the inside you're you you're just you're tearing yourself apart you're dying and it's it, you're you're just you're, you're making yourself more sick if anybody is on the fence about starting their own business i think the first thing you should really look at is where you are today who you surround yourself with today and what you're doing because today is where you're going to be in 5 years where you're going to be in 10 years so if if that doesn't scare you, what you're doing right now, sitting on your couch or whatever, you're watching TV all the time, if that doesn't scare you, that, that, that's going to be you in five years, then okay, cool. But if it does scare you, then you need to change, you need to do something about that. Start, you know, one thing at a time. Start something daily that make that little change. Do something different because then that's going to guarantee you that you are not going to be that same person. Thanks for watching. And remember, it always starts with you.